Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight super fight between the baddest boxer on the planet, Tyson Fury, versus the baddest MMA fighter on the planet, Francis Ngannou. And I'm happy about this one right here. I'm going to have to go lock confidence, Tyson Fury. This is a boxing matchup. This is not a street fight. This is not an MMA fight. This is not a kickboxing matchup. Matter of fact, it would have been much more interesting if this was a kickboxing matchup. And to be honest, it wouldn't be a case like, oh, Ngannou's the more well-rounded fighter, so kickboxing is unfair for Fury because it's a kickbox. Now, kickboxing would have been really the fierce route because then you have um, Fury can box, and Ngannou can kick and punch and maybe throw some elbows, so maybe move to, I don't know. I don't know, different kickbox rules have different rules, but maybe no elbows, but like, you know, knees, kicks, and head kicks and such like that. It's not like Fury, I mean, it's not like Ngannou's like some kickboxer and he's an MMA fighter. So he's not really no strike, no true striking background. He has some kickboxing fights, but he didn't have no extensive kickboxing career. So that would have been very, very fair and would have given him a uh, very good chance. And I think the odds would have been much better. Probably would have been um, Ngannou, probably a small favorite. But in re reality, it would have been a very much more fair fight. But I think the thing is, Fury ain't trying to get hurt too bad. He's trying to make some money. And he's going to drag out drafts. That's why my confidence in this is lock. Tyson Fury, am I saying like it's a true lock? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, it's a true lock, but it's a lock where it's like, a lock where it is really slim to no certainty that, I mean, it's like pretty much slim to none chance that Ngannou can win. It's not. Because it's not, it's, at the end of the day, this is a fist fight. And in fist fights, the crazy is always subject to happen. I mean, it's not subject to happen, but it's always present. It's not like, oh, I can just take this guy down and lay on him because he got zero grappling. And even then, there's a chance that you could caught with a knee trying to take him down. But yeah, Fury has high level skill. He has a solid chin and even better heart. So if he does get caught, cool, he gets up. It's not like um, Ngannou can get on top, start dropping the elbows on and ground and pound him, and he gets hurt. So in a chance he does catch Fury, it's going to be a very good punch that's going to put had to put Fury all the way out. If not, even if he goes all the way out, he might be back up from the, the like the depths of Sleepville, like he was against um, Wilder, and get up on the ninth count. But yeah. He be like, even if he does catch him with a perfect shot or a good shot, I know he got crazy power, but it's not like it may where you get knocked out or dropped and then someone could just come on top of you. I don't know why I say stuff like that, but it's not like you get dropped and then they can hit you with follow up punches. Like while you're looking up at the lights and they start dropping hammer fists on your jaw while you're already in the nether in the, in the nether world and they just putting you further into the nether world, but like that can't happen. So. Fury does get caught. He does have a 10 seconds, at least 10 seconds. He's like this flat out out cold to get up. And even if he not, he is flat out cold. They might, they still probably gonna give him 10 seconds. And as we saw in the wilder fight, matter of fact, two of the wilder fights, the first and the third fight, we saw him be able to get up from the bottom. I mean, get up from off the canvas multiple times. And most notably the, um, what like the ninth round of their first fight. So yeah, Fury has an amazing heart and I don't think he gonna get put down that bad. And if he does get put down bad, I think he'll be able to rise up and continue to show the big, huge gap in striking, in boxing. And it's not like, even MMA, um, Ngannou's not really even a super technical striker. Matter of fact, he's not even mentioned as a technical fighter in MMA. So coming to boxing and fighting one, one of the most technical heavyweight boxers of all time, yeah, it's, gonna, it's, a, it's a huge gap between them. I think it's really just going to be a, a payday for both of them. And I feel like Fury could potentially get a knockout, but Ngannou has heart as well. And also, I don't think Fury's gonna really be going out there with really super mean intentions, to be honest. Unless you know he feel Ngannou is pushing him that way, but I feel like the most push Ngannou's gonna give him is like he's gonna give him some heavy shots. He's gonna make him have to you know fight in there. It's not gonna be like just a walk in the park, but it's gonna be something. It's manageable. This guy has been boxing for his whole life, you know, against heavy hitters, hard hitters. It's not like he's some guy that's new to heavyweight. He's a heavyweight. He's like six eight, six nine, six ten. You know, been in with some big guys. He's a big guy himself. So yes, there's some big threats to that, and Ngannou brings some big power, but nothing he can't deal with. He can roll the big shots to the head, you know, take the big shots to the body, you know, you know probably play with him a little bit, sit, like sit on the ropes a little bit, make him miss, tie him up, lean on him, you know, and drag these rounds out, kind of like what Mayweather did with McGregor, but probably more so. And um, I think he's gonna take it to the, a decision here. Like I think Ngannou has a lot of grit and a lot of um, heart, as we saw in the first Miocic fight. And I think he'll be able to make it to a decision here. And also, again, I don't think um, Fury's really going to be fighting as hard as he can. Like, you know, he's not going to fight him like he's fighting a true um, boxing competitor. He's going to fight him like, a, you know, a, a Seth no talent, a big star, 
but an amateur at the end of the day, he's an amateur boxer. He's not, he's an amateur boxer having his first pro fight, not even like an extensive amateur with like a hundred fights, but an amateur MMA fighter with literally zero to none, no um actual boxing experience. And I think he's gonna treat him like that and carry the fight. He's gonna have his moments. He's gonna mix up probably dose a lot of a lot of little arm punches there and there at times. Maybe dose some steam on some punches. But again, carry Ngano here. But hey. Best of luck to both guys out there, and I'm glad Ngannou was getting a big payday after Dana White was talking all that trash to him and stuff, because it's hard for fighters to win at the end of the day, because promoters, they always will win, because they just send you out there to fight and get brain damage, and they just sit and collect the checks. They do a little bit of talking, they send you out there, and and um, your career could be over just like that, whereas they're going to like, win or lose, they're going to make money off you. So it should never be a case where promoters that trash talking to fighters that much or downgrading them that much. So I'm glad Ngannou's getting that, what, 40 million, 50 million, and also in PFL. So he's winning. Win or lose, he's winning this one. Best of luck to both ones, both guys. And honest, all honesty, like both guys, I would like Ngannou to win, but reality, <laughs> reality setting it, I mean, not reality setting it, but the reality of it, this is a lot of confidence, Tyson Fury. This Tyson Fury, this is his wheelhouse. And he has um <laughs> a huge, huge advantage over Ngannou in this, in his wheelhouse. So yeah, kickboxing would have been better. Boxing, I think um, Fury just gonna play with him, carry him a bit, and really just his main um, thing going to just be to avoid the big head shots and just keep sticking with the jab, lean on him, one two, lean on him, clinch him up, kind of old school. Um, well, not necessarily old school, similar but different to what Klitschko used to do to a lot of his opponents, just kind of just lean on him, put his weight on him, and then what Fury has done a lot of his career, especially when he went in with smaller guys, just lean on him, wear on him, and make the the smaller guy carry his weight, you know. Old school heavyweight box. So, yeah, this is not a quick pick, but hey, that's a prediction. So, in this one, I got Tyson Fury via decision.